Well, my life was such that um, I was busy and working and children and home making that I didn't have much time for reading. And then um, in my second marriage, my husband was an avid reader, so I started to read. And then I joined a local book club, and that's when it really escalated. It's a different pace of life now I'm old. I'm 82 years old now, and um, time goes quite slowly now, except when I'm reading. When I'm reading, it flies by. And I think to uh, read, it keeps my mind active and um, keeps me alive, I think, really. I saw a poster in my local library for people to volunteer to be reading Friends and thought that sounded like exactly the kind of thing I wanted to volunteer for and so I signed up. It's a really social opportunity, I love it, I really enjoy my time with my reading friend and for me personally all my grandparents unfortunately are deceased so I don't have any personal contact with the older generation anymore at all so being able to come and meet regularly with somebody like Jenny is fantastic for me because it really keeps me in touch with a part of our community that otherwise I wouldn't necessarily be in touch with. Now I don't drive and I'm not so mobile and my friends are dying off and both my husbands have died. So, so much has uh, been lost in the way of social interaction. So to have somebody come to replace the book groups that I used to participate in is invaluable. I'm Pritham Bobby, I'm the Arts Coordinator for ABMU Health Board and I have initiated the Reading Friends project here, working with Literature Wales and we now have 15 students from Swansea University who are coming in each week and reading and chatting and having conversations with our patients. My first experience was actually really lovely, like she did more talking than I did and I'm a very chatty person so it was just really lovely sitting back and hearing her and when you listen to her you could hear how much she really needed someone to talk to, how perhaps this was the only normal human interaction that she'd had in a while so I think that was really fulfilling to you know provide that for her. Sometimes patients end up on the wards for quite a long time, you know there may be that they home situation is not quite right for them to go back to and they have to wait for care packages to be put together and they can be stuck here for ages and quite bored and isolated on the ward even though they're busy places can be quite lonely so having friendly students to sit and chat is a great boost for them. So it's not a complicated project, it's a really simple idea so that once it's embedded it could become really sustainable and it could spread to other hospitals and other areas across Wales. Yn Llenyddiaeth Cymru, da ni'n gredinol fod y diwylliant a'r celfyddydau ac yn benodol llenyddiaeth yn gallu gwneud gwahaniaeth i fywydau pobl. A da ni wedi ymrwymo fel sefydliad i weithgareddau llesiant yn y celfyddydau, a mae ffrindiau darllen yn enghraifft wych o sut mae gweithgareddau llenyddol a darllen yn benodol a cyfeillio drwy ffrindiau darllen yn gallu cael effaith bositif ar fywydau pobl ac ar ei llesiant um, meddyliol a chorfforol nhw.